Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night to find a ghostly figure standing at the foot of your bed? Or heard unexplained whispers in the dead of night when no one's there? What if the tales of haunted places weren't just products of vivid imaginations, but instead windows into a supernatural world that coexists with our own? Join us as we uncover the mysteries of the supernatural and try to make sense of the inexplicable. But be warned, some of these stories are truly spine-tingling and may leave you questioning what's real and what's not. Let's get started right away. It was a typical ghost, the kind that settles over a home when its occupants are away. The house stood silent, its rooms devoid of human presence, or so it seemed. In the absence of life, the air felt heavy with the weight of the unknown. Animals can sense things we can't. And the only eyewitnesses were a couple of cats in the house. In a regular bedroom, a dark shadow moved across the doorway. Not a person, but a mysterious presence. One cat sat on the bed, eyes fixed on the shadow. It knew something was up. Another cat joined in, following the shadow. A weird energy filled the room. Then, things got even stranger. The table near the window started moving as if a ghostly hand touched it a silent disturbance, a hint that something out of the ordinary was at play. But the spookiness hit its peak when the door behind one of the cats got shut. No wind, no logical reason. The room fell silent, leaving us with questions. Could your home be host to silent guests, invisible but undeniably present? What tales do the objects in your room hold? and what emotions linger in the air when the lights go out. The answers may remain elusive, hidden in the shadows of the unknown. The air is still, and no one is around. Suddenly, the door swung open with a force that echoed through the silence, a sharp sound cutting through the stillness. Someone or something had entered the scene, but then an eerie calm settled over the room. No footsteps, no visible presence just a quiet that hinted at the unseen. And then, it began. The file cabinet, standing in the corner, started to move back and forth. Not a gentle sway, but a deliberate motion, as if an invisible hand was pulling and pushing it. The mystery deepened when a drawer abruptly opened, and files seemed to fly into it from thin air as if thrown by an unseen force. What's next? Well, the room fell silent once more. And then, without warning, the force returned. This time, it was the floor signboard. It wasn't a mere nudge. It felt like a forceful kick, a manifestation of a spirit's fury echoing through the room. The video, capturing each inexplicable movement, painted a picture of an angry visitor from beyond. But who was this unseen visitor, and what provoked such anger from the realm beyond? Was it a spirit with unfinished business, a restless soul seeking solace, or something more sinister lurking in the shadows? Vampires, the enigmatic beings of the night, have long been associated with feeding on human lifeblood. The age-old question lingers. Are they merely mythical, or could there be a shred of truth to these tales? Uncover the mystery by clicking on the link in the top right corner now. The truth might just surprise you. Let's dive into our next spine-chilling tale, a story that might make you think twice before gazing into your own reflection. Have you ever felt that eerie sensation that there's more in the mirror than just your own self? That's what happened to a person who experienced something beyond the ordinary. As he looked into the mirror, he saw a figure, not his own reflection, but something else. A creepy presence poking its head from the corner of the mirror. The camera captured the moment, freezing the unsettling image in time. In a blink, it vanished, leaving the person perplexed and unnerved. The mirror, now reflecting only the room's emptiness, offered no explanation. With a mix of curiosity and fear, the person turned the camera towards the opposite side of the mirror. Was someone standing there, playing tricks with shadows and reflections? The answer sent a chill down their spine, no one. The room stood empty, devoid of any intruder. The story raises questions that linger in the mind. What if mirrors are not just reflective surfaces, but windows into realms unseen. What if, when we turn away, something remains, watching us from the other side? After all, in the quiet moments when we least expect it, someone or something might be watching us, unseen but not unfelt. In the hush of the night, where the echoes of the day fade into silence, 
There's an unsettling tale that unfolded in the dimly lit corridors of the school. It started with an ordinary noise, the kind that might be dismissed as creaks or sounds in an old building. But this was different, for it was the dead of night, a time when the school should have been empty, void of the lively chatter of students. Armed with only a flashlight and a camera, a brave soul decided to investigate. Perhaps he thought he'd catch a thief in the act, or maybe he was just curious. Little did he know that what awaited them inside would defy the logic of the ordinary. As the camera rolled, the beam of the flashlight cut through the darkness, revealing empty halls and silent classrooms. But the noise persisted, guiding our intrepid explorer deeper into the eerie unknown. And then, there it was a chair that was being pulled away, not dragged by a breeze, not nudged by a careless hand, but moving away as if drawn by an unseen force. The person, now more bewildered than afraid, captured the eerie spectacle on camera. Ever thought about monsters in the quiet of a school after hours? Could it be more than just the settling of an old building? The story serves as a haunting reminder that in the dead of night, when the world sleeps, there are places where the boundaries between the living and the unknown blur. Have you ever wondered what might be happening inside those tiny, seemingly static worlds of miniature furniture and dolls? Let's open the door to our next mysterious tale, one that may make you rethink the innocence of doll houses. It all started with a noise, a subtle disturbance that caught the attention of the homeowner. A noise, not from the real-sized rooms, but from a tiny world within the doll house. Imagine the confusion as the person who opened the door, hoping to find the source, only to be met with silence. No movement, no signs of life inside the room, and yet, the noise persisted. A perplexing scenario that left the person with more questions than answers. What could create a noise when everything seemed still? To unravel the mystery, the person set up a camera, its unblinking eye fixed on the dollhouse. What unfolded in the footage was beyond the realm of explanation. The camera captured a box on the top floor of the dollhouse, moving on its own. But that was just the beginning. A chair toppled over as if nudged by an invisible hand. A disturbance, perhaps. But then it happened again and again. The table on the ground floor felt like it was being pulled, adding another layer to the inexplicable occurrences. As the person watched the footage, a chilling realization set and it wasn't just random movements. Something, or someone, seemed to be living within the dollhouse. So, the next time you glance at that innocent-looking dollhouse in your home, think twice. What if, in the quiet moments, there's a tiny resident causing mischief, a presence that challenges our understanding of the normal and the paranormal? As we wrap up this eerie exploration into the unknown on Mystiques, Remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned for more spine-tingling stories, mysterious encounters, and uncharted realms. If you've had your own brush with the supernatural, share your experiences in the comments below. Mysteries await, and we want you to be a part of the journey. Subscribe now, and let's keep unraveling the enigmatic on Mystiques.